The issue with the ESG movement, it stands for environmental, social, and governance factors. It's designed to sound boring for a reason. My general rule of thumb is, if it sounds like a three-letter acronym that bores you, that's a good sign that you should be paying more attention because it was designed to bore you. What, what this whole game is about is using private power, using capital markets to accomplish through the back door what government could not get done through the front door under the Constitution. So I'll tell you what it is, and then I'll walk through the history of how we got there because that's also pretty important too. What, the essence of the ESG movement is what it does is it uses the money of everyday citizens, Americans, but Canadians too, Australians and Western Europeans. It uses the money of everyday citizens to invest in companies and to vote their shares in ways that advance one-sided progressive agendas, environmental and social agendas, that most of those people do not agree with, that most of those people did not know were actually being advanced with their own money, and which don't advance the financial best interests of most people whose money is actually used. So what does that mean? Think about yourself saving in a retirement account or a 401k account or a brokerage account. You think that the person who's managing that money is exclusively looking after your best financial interests. It turns out they're not. They're also looking after advancing these other environmental and social goals. Who are these institutions? They're asset management firms like BlackRock or State Street or Vanguard or Invesco or countless others that have signed a pledge to say that they're going to align all of their underlying companies with the goals of the Paris Climate Accords, with net zero standards by 2050, with modern diversity, equity, and inclusion standards. And those three or four firms alone manage about $20 trillion, maybe even a little bit more. That's more than the US GDP right now in the hands of three to four financial institutions. But they're not using their money to do it. They're using most money, they're using the money of probably most listeners to this exchange right now, people watching this. Good chances that their money, their retirement accounts, their brokerage accounts are being used to tell companies like Apple to adopt racial equity audits that Apple's board initially did not want to adopt. To tell companies like Chevron to adopt scope three emissions caps, which I can talk about what that means, but that Chevron did not want to adopt and that most people watching this probably didn't want to force on Chevron either, but their money was used to do it anyway. That's what this ESG movement is all about.